<laughs> okay, look who's here. What's up, Homestead homies? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? The only reason I'm here is because of him, because he posted early. Because he's stalking me on the internet. Oh. Here's another one of my fun but short clips of the people and places I met at the tiny house Simple Living Jamboree in that really short time I was there. I mean, I did the best I could. I only had like four hours to shoot. So I'm not really, I'm not one of those channels that are like gonna shoot every angle, I'm giving you all the information, shooting the right angles and video and asking them, but I had to kind of skim through everything and get the people's personalities on camera and their feelings and, and, uh, and you can go to the, all those websites and get more information about the things I didn't cover. I just was skimming it. That's what I could do. Well, I made it. I can't believe it. I Ubered down here because I couldn't drive I can't walk, but I had to come and see this. So I don't, I don't, I, I mean, I bought the ticket for the whole weekend, and Friday and Saturday I couldn't go, and that was really hard for me, and it triggered me and reminded me of all sorts of things that I couldn't do, and uh, so I was able to get cleaned up and Uber down here, and I'll still sit outside and be around positive energy. I'm not going to sit home. So I'm here. Anyway, this is the first place I'm going to see because this is something that I've always been interested in, like the yurts and things like that. Maybe the top of my RV, huh? Maybe? Maybe a pop-up? I'm in. And there she is. There's the woman I saw on YouTube yesterday. I saw oh, you. <laughs> and she was just gave this amazing speech about how happy she is in the nature. I live this way too. Oh. So I mean, not in this cool thing, but I live yes, free and happy exactly. too. Yes. And so I just had to come here and oh, interview yes. some of the ma most amazing <laughs> people that live this way. And you made this, correct? I made Designed it. Designed it. Yeah. She sewed it at home this morning. No. <laughs> this is her uh, plenty sphere. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, fantastic. So, yes. So uh, there'll be a link below for this, and you guys can get all the information. But um, I just wanted you to see live this lady right here. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, her. Because what inspired you to do this? It, I wanted to live closer to nature, yes. in, but in the comforts of some of my modern amenities, you know, being able to do all my research and all see clients and have my career, yes, yes, have yes, my yes. dining, have yes, my yes, sleeping yes. in the heart of the of the most luxurious realm, which is Mother Nature. Yes. And I also wanted to give back yes, to nature. Color, you know, yes. I just feel like everything I do breathe everything my body everything is made of the elements of the earth Water, and so earth, yeah. is there a way that i can live that will contribute uh, to the environment rather than take away you know in a way that i listen to nature and whatever I feel. and it's listening to us yeah it's responding to what we're doing to exactly. it so yes. this is beautiful and Thank you. yeah this is like the this answer because i couldn't do a yurt but this mm -hmm. is the right size and yes. portability yeah. I, yes. Maybe it'll fit on top of my RV, I said earlier. <laughs> it actually will. It only takes two and a half contractor bags. It absolutely will. You put, it can fit on top of any car. Are you, you serious? I'm serious. Oh Just my God, I'm getting the goosebumps all... You know what that means. That means, like, that's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> and it will take you only a few hours to set it up by yourself. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, yeah, because I stay in the same place for long periods of time. Because exactly. I can't move. <laughs> but anyway, this is going to be a great uh, video because... I was kind of joking, but um, it fits into two two contractor bags. Those black contractor bags. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I have one I have lots for the of them. Inner layer, one for the outer, and then there's a third, much smaller bag for your poles. What's the wind? Um, it can, can take up to eighty mile an hour winds. And eighty I mile an hour in a very windy area. So yeah. Yes. Well, the desert can get really windy, but. Yes. Um, this is awesome. Well, I'm going to stop because I don't have much battery and I just got here. I do, oh, I'm over here. I don't know why I'm talking to that. My hand. Talking to the hand. 
<laughs> okay, look who's here. What's up, Homestead homies? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? The only reason I'm here is because of him, because he posted Because he's stalking me on the internet. Oh, we can't tell the truth. I lie on my channel. I lie. I only lie. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Check we, us out, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Yeah, they're amazing. I discovered them a month ago because they live like I want to live, except they don't have wheels on their house. But and we don't have a dashboard outlet. Yeah, they don't. They live with a little more luxuries than me, just a tad, just a tad. Yeah, and, but, but you can do it if you want to. He posted early this event, and I was crying yesterday because I couldn't make it. And then I thought I'm going to Uber my app. Uh, you know, up here, <laughs> my, my stuff, <laughs> that stuff, and I'm here because of them, but they're great, because you posted early, thank I love you, it. for yeah. all you guys and share. Thanks for coming out, you know, yeah. you guys get so many ideas when you come to these kind of events, Go. they can really do it, Yes. it's awesome stuff. Yes. Thanks.